And thank you for allowing me to bring greetings to you on what's increasingly a beautiful day. Uh, the sun is coming out. It's gorgeous. And I want to begin by, as Ella did, welcoming you home. The campus may have changed since you graduated, but it is still your place. It is your intellectual home. It's the place of your, uh, I know college was for me, a place of intellectual dawning um, and uh, a place that will always be special in your heart. I want to thank Ella Weiss for her tireless work as president of the Brooklyn College Alumni Association. And I want to thank the many members of the Alumni Awards Committee, in particular, Grace Harold Hughes, for her work chairing the important committee that selected these worthy recipients. And I want to congratulate all the terrific alumni awardees uh, who are receiving uh, gratitude and celebration today. Uh, this is a happy occasion that we can formally acknowledge you and uh, tout your incredible contributions to your communities, your respective fields, to the college. It's wonderful. Today is an opportunity to celebrate you, but it's also an opportunity to look back on the past. So I want to uh, look back on a couple things that happened when you graduated, when a number of you graduated. Uh, first, I want to just mention Dorothea Bellafiore, who's a new, very close friend of mine, who is here from the graduating class of 1939. Dorothea, Dorothea came up to me and said, do you know how old I am? And I said, no, ma'am, I don't. And she said, I'm going to be 100 soon. Uh, she's fantastic. She's fantastic. Way back in 1939, a gallon of gas cost 10 cents. Do you remember that, Dorothea? And Judy Garland's Over the Rainbow topped the charts. The 75th reunion class of 1942 is also here. There are representatives here. In 1942, two classics came out, Bambi and Casablanca. <laughs> The average cost to rent an entire home was $35 a month. Would that that were true today. The 70th reunion class of 1947 is here. At the time in 1947, a postage stamp was three cents. And Jackie Robinson took to the field for the Brooklyn Dodgers. The 65th reunion class is here from 1952. Singing in the Rain uh, began, it premiered at Radio City Music Hall, and the cost of a new car at the time was $1,700. The 60th reunion class is here from 1957, and there were so many good songs in 1957 that it's hard to select them. Remember You Send Me by Sam Cooke? Unforgettable. And then there's that one, Jailhouse Rock by Elvis. Eggs at the time were 24 cents a dozen, a little different today. And then the last one here is the 55th reunion class of 1962. The average cost of a new home in 1962 was $12,500. West Side Story that year took home 10 Academy Awards, well deserved. And then the first Beatles song uh, was released. Anyone know it? Love Me Do, quite different from their later work, um, like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds or something like that. So um, I began my work, as you know, as president here uh, just a little over a year ago, and it didn't take me long to see why this place is so special uh, to the faculty, to the students, and certainly to the alums. Uh, this is a place where alumni want to remain close. It's, it really does feel like home for those who have remained close to the school. Like all of you, the faculty, staff, and students really love this place. They use the word love when they talk about this place. They're proud of the beauty of our gorgeous campus. They're proud of the college's reputation for academic excellence. They're proud of the diversity of the student body and its inextricable place in the history uh, and evolution uh, and cultural fabric of the borough of Brooklyn. When President Franklin Roosevelt laid the cornerstone of Roosevelt Hall, of the gymnasium in, in 1936, he said he hoped the college would, quote, 
live through the generations to come for the building of a better American citizenship, end quote. It's a noble ideal, this vision that Roosevelt had. It continues to be realized. Your accomplishments as alums are perhaps the greatest testimony to the value of Brooklyn College. And when I look at the distinction each of you has brought to your respective fields, it is tremendous. You're about to see some of that today. Um, the commitment you demonstrate to your alma mater and uh, the distinction you have brought, I see this engaged citizenship that Roosevelt spoke of at its finest. I want to end my brief remarks with an apology. I have a nine-year-old daughter, and I can't stay for the full program today. So this little nine-year-old girl, Avon, I need to go pick her up because she's completing a two-night sleepover uh, with her best friend. And uh, as her mother, I have a little bit of anxiety that she may have worn out her welcome. Um, they took a trip to the Renaissance Fair uh, yesterday. Right? Two-night sleepover is a gift to any mother, um, as you know. But they took a trip, and I know that my daughter fancies herself a knight in shining armor. So uh, Lady Avon, or Knight Avon of Westminster, calls. And as her humble handmaid, I must go and attend to her. <laughs> I trust that you understand. Um, so uh, all of life, uh, for many of us, is this balance between your personal life and your professional life. And I am so thrilled to have both uh, robust in my life. And I hope that's true for each of you. Uh, it is my hope that each of you alums will continue to stay close to Brooklyn College College, we cherish you, we thank you for the wisdom and insight you've brought to the larger world and back here at the college. Uh, I want to thank you all for a beautiful day. I hope you have a terrific ceremony today, and thank you for letting me speak.